some shark species practice cannibalism in utero. Charged with gene-altering mutagens, the shark now has an asymmetric edge on the competition. A clock would hardly be the strangest thing ever retrieved from a crocodile's mouth. Anyone who has delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything.
Pig is an animal of broad dietary proclivities. Bayou Brawl, the American Alligator. star in Big B's Bayou Buddy stunt show, but our shark is far too young to appreciate Rosie's classic brand of celebrity. Critic once wrote that Amos Beauregard was the Rodin of the Bayou, but Beauregard was functionally illiterate and had no idea who Rodin was. Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. While adorable, these soft stuff mascots don't provide much in the way of nutritional value. Development of the shoreline leads to a wide variety of negative environmental impacts, but you should see the Italian design walk in closets inside these condos.
This shark understands that she needs to eat essential minerals to stay healthy and grow. The shark is visibly struggling outside of her natural environment. With an angry bull shark, local hunters are forced to post bail shrug off last night's hangover so they can take to the water. These big people parties always end in a fight with the weather. Poodle Wheat and Terry Mix should be called the Woodle or Wheat. attention spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so thus ends the bounty. The grotto provides a brief respite from the Sturm und Drang of the Gulf.
the corn-fed Colossus, Butcher Boy Brady. Despite poor Clovis's best efforts, the aquatic beast refuses to be tamed. Coast stopped growing cotton and rice and started growing luxury vacation homes. Being natural cowards, shark hunters will often call for backup upon spotting their prey. These scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. The man-eater's longevity depends on her nimbleness. This shark is a sort of super scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination.
Back aboard the Cajun Queen, family tensions are at an all-time high. Kyle, what's wrong? Can you catch no reef? I can, but this one's like 20 feet. 15. Whatever. Can't do it. I'll come out there. I'll do it. The old man with one hand. Yeah, well, maybe you shouldn't be mutilating baby sharks. What are you saying? Nothing. <laughs> Boy couldn't catch in a diaper. He telling me how to honor shark. Believe that? I mean, I came down here thinking it'd be a good opportunity for some father-son bonding. But now, I don't know. I might start looking for another summer job. Hey, not everybody made to be a fisherman. I just hope this whole university thing works out for him, yeah? The shark returns to the grotto to focus on personal transformation. Mutagen 23 is certainly heating up the evolutionary arms race. of our secret swallow. Sound travels four and a half times faster in water, a fact beneficial to both hunters and prey. Sapphire Bay's famous Pier 1 provides visitors with plenty of skee-ball, popcorn shrimp, and elegantly airbrushed t-shirts.
Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection. He used to take Kyle to the carnival when he wasn't nothing but an itty-bitty boy. The fact that he was afraid of that ferris wheel should have told me he wasn't never gonna be no shark. Fish are rich and flavorful, making it completely worth the risk of Ciguatera poisoning. Ah! Oh, Shark bounties became commonplace after the previous mayor's practice of hiring Fijian shark charmers proved largely ineffective. That he was afraid of that Ferris wheel should have told me he wasn't never gonna be no shark. Founder of America's largest shark finning enterprise, Mama Maybell Bryant has collected quite a fleet of recreational boats. Her fail sons, Randall and Tyson, can often be spotted piloting them around Sapphire Bay. Another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Clovis. over the side of a boat is food, including food. A close encounter of the deadliest. 
founder of America's largest shark finning enterprise, Mama Maybelle Bryant has collected quite a fleet of recreational boats. Her fail sons, Randall and Tyson, can often be spotted piloting them around Sapphire Bay. The profusion of parrotfish here have kept Sapphire Bay's local hammerhead healthy and strange looking. Parrotfish here have kept Sapphire Bay's local hammerhead healthy and strange looking. An insatiable fish, the bull shark is nine-tenths appetite. In the kill or be killed world of the sea, performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death.
Only here can the shark discover the miracle of self-love. Over the course of a bull shark's life, it will ingest quite a broad assortment of flotsam and jetsam. Long a haven for small government ideologues, Port Clovis prides itself in its lax amusement park safety standards. Predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. with swift retributive action.
This protein supplement has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hidden artificial colors or flavors. Related to the Ciro and Spanish mackerel, the king mackerel doesn't really talk to its family and prefers that you just stop asking questions, okay? Like most American cities, the founders of Port Clovis were Freemasons and probably Illuminati who congregated in secret UFO bases to perform Luciferian blood rituals.
Protein caches like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake. The appetite of this shark is nearly insatiable. Once more, the shark turns back to this place of centered calm. This is all part of the beautiful circle of life. Well known, volleyballs make way better friends than soccer balls, who will stab you in the back the first chance they get. Evolutionary anomaly, the hammer.
opponent's clearly superior depth perception. The shark returns once again to her safe haven. thought drives the bull shark's behavior. Eh, I could eat. The scofflaw shark callously disregards the state's 24-inch size limit for kingfish.
A quiet space is the ideal stage for the shark to meditate and harness her pure potentiality. No one can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach. It's truly the ocean's garbage can. As twilight falls, Pete is in an uncharacteristically quiet mood. It's a dangerous job. It's not something unknown to me. Well, you want to see dangerous? Look at that, yeah? That's PT 522. My daddy crewed that off of Guadalcanal. It was Navy. Gunner's mate. Pacific Theater. But when I was 16 men, came back a day later with three. Man survives all that, was to die here in the Gulf. What happened to him? Oh, you don't like me saying this. But my daddy, his granddaddy, was killed by a mega shark. I, I, I'm sorry. He's talking about a prehistoric fish that went extinct 2.6 million years ago. I seen it. Now, you were a kid. Ain't they discover new animals all the time? Sort of. Well, not, not exactly. In lots of cases, they're just corrections of species with different names. Also stuff like misspelling. But, I just say, maybe there are things in the water that ain't in your textbook. Stick around. Maybe you learn a thing or two this summer. Whatever. The ocean is vast. The majority of it still remains unmapped and unexplored by mankind. Perhaps Kyle shouldn't be so quick to dismiss his father's fevered ramblings. The grotto provides a brief respite from the Sturm und Drang of the Gulf. Up ready, boy. Now we playing with power. Stay stuck, you young. She's catching her wind.
Need reinforcements! Don't drag ass now! That their cage worth for three thousand dollars. Don't fire! What's in heaven? Scaly Pete remains resolute. Where's she at? I don't know. Ah! Big enough to toss her now, ain't you? Can! Get that can! Down, sir! Pete, get to What remains of the boat lurches, then slowly sinks to the bottom of the sea. The shark is now an elder, and thus begins a new battle against systemic age discrimination. Only here can the shark discover the miracle of self-love. Really a gourmand, the bull shark will eat just about anything. Serves the serenity of an otherwise calm sea, the shark hunter is on you.
it's vital that we extract an absolute maximum of resources before we cross Earth's apocalyptic threshold. The hunt is over, and there will be an inevitable rush on dollar drafts at Flamingo Jones. succeeded in hurting or eliminating most of our land-based threats. But how will we respond when the beasts of the sea come for us? can discover the absolute serenity deep within her soul. This trawler, operated by Roger Cantrell, recently broke the state record for number of revocable commercial fishing offenses. by a hungry shark and this crawler, operated by Roger Cantrell, recently broke the state record for number of revocable commercial fishing offenses.
After the end of the tiki craze, bar owners toss their Polynesian-inspired decor into the Gulf, where their kitschy charm is completely lost on native marine. another reckless campaign of extermination. Toast of the Coast, Lieutenant Shannon Sims. Oh, too excited! whether government actions can diminish Port Clovis' reputation as a shark attack hotspot. Once more, the shark turns back to this place of center today. Well, today. Don't think we're gonna make any more headway today. The battle is over, but the war goes on.
While fostering a balanced ecosystem is a complex and multifaceted process, what harm could arise from killing a bunch of seals? To avoid starvation, a shark must always be ready to pursue and attack. Using crude weapons to take down alpha predators is a skill many shark hunters honed while in prison. This rover is always swimming, searching for anything to satisfy the gluttony that is their defining trait. While fostering a balanced ecosystem is a complex and multifaceted process, what harm could arise from killing a bunch of seeds? Vigilante fever has seized Port Clovis, making it dangerous for anything that swims. In 29 days, Prosperity Sands ain't had no shark attacks. You can take OP for that. Prosperity Sands, your ass. <laughs> 